right, here we are in the basement, and I'm in the planning stages of making a rocket mass heater down here behind me. And uh, this is going to be the heater here. This is where the exhaust will run through and make a, actually a bench for us, a warm bench to sit on. This is fire brick. This is the only thing you'd want to use for something that creates hot temperatures like this. And there's a special mortar you use with it as well. Uh, why do you make a rocket mass heater? Basically it's uh, a super efficient way to burn wood. You burn smaller pieces. The way that it works is uh, you, you burn the wood here. You put it in here and the, the draft pulls the air downward. And then it goes through and then it comes up. This is going to come up higher. <clears throat> it goes into, if you can picture on top of this, a 55 gallon barrel, metal barrel, and then it hits the top of that barrel and it cools the air real fast and so it creates a draft and it pulls the air down. So then the way I have this one designed, which I've looked at a lot of the designs and I've kind of tweaked a few to make accommodate my ideas here, the draft is going to come down and it's going to come down here and it's going to go down through there. It goes through a set of cinder blocks. I'm using cinder blocks because by this time the temperature is a little cooler. I think a cinder block is going to be okay. People buy stove pipes and then they do all sorts of concrete mortar and cob. But I thought, man, they already have the hole in them. This is simpler. I'm just going to let that become the exhaust pipe itself. So it's going to come through here, come through this side, and it's going to go back under there. It's going to come all the way back here, then it's going to come up, and then picture another layer of cinder block here. It's going to go through this tube, come here, and then go back on this side. Then it's going to go that, through that side of the cinder block, through the single one there, and then there will be an, uh, an exhaust going out through the wall right there into the greenhouse. You can see that we moved our chickens in yesterday. We're about to get some really cold weather. I want them to spend their energy making eggs, not trying to stay warm outside. It's going to be down to 10 degrees or less. So that's the rocket mass heater planning stage. I'll show you guys another video once we get things going here. Hopefully it works. Uh, it's a bit tricky. You need to get it right to create the right kind of draft to make this work. But the idea with all this exhaust area is it pulls all the heat off the air. So Basically, you got, you know, over 500 degrees going up your stack there. And then by the time it goes through all this and then goes outside, it's probably going to be closer to only 100, maybe even less. We'll try to keep all that heat inside. That's the whole purpose of doing the rocket mass heater. Uh, whereas if you were to have a fireplace, most of your heat just goes right out the chimney. And... That just doesn't make much sense if you're trying to warm your home. And it creates a draft that pulls in cold air into your home. Now this will create a draft as well, but I'm going to have the cool air pull in right around the exhaust. So it will warm the cool air as it comes back in here. I might even direct that air a little bit, but it's going to hit that exhaust and it's going to hit the barrel here. So I'm warming the air coming back in and I'm using the heat off the air before it even goes out rocket mass heater and we'll update you a little later. I guess this is the December 6th, 2016. Getting ready to put it all back together and use the uh, fireplace mortar.